is Catching Exceptions, and today I'm going to introduce you to the sensei of solar search systems, Tim Braga. So, thank you for sitting with me. You're welcome. You know where you're from? Where'd you grow up? I grew up right here in Boston, just outside of Boston, in Quincy, Massachusetts. Quincy. Quincy. City of Presidents. City of Presidents. And me. And you. <laughs> no <laughs> relation. <laughs> Maybe the next one, yes. <laughs> so, uh, what got you actually started in programming? Yeah, so when I was in, when I was in high school, my father brought me to an HTML course over at um, Boston Adult Education. And it was over at the... Uh, um, Museum of Science. So we started doing some HTML there. It's very basic. We're actually working with frames and tables. Um, then we did a little bit more advanced course, and we took a JavaScript course. And from there, I just took a couple classes in high school and started getting into it. And I always had a computer in the house, so it's always fiddling with that. And what kind of computer? We had a Compaq, and then we got an e-machine, and then I started taking apart the e-machine and. One Christmas, I asked my grandmother for a 56K modem, U.S. Robotics. It was the thing at the time. So Blow your hair back, right? Yeah, I was able to go from, was a 28.8 to 56K, and that was that was pretty amazing at the time. I can get images. You can get images. You can download. I remember when MP3s came out. <laughs> <laughs> Napster. Napster was a thing. Yeah. Good old Northeastern. That was right when I got in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so where do you work now? What are you What are you doing for work? Yeah, so I, I head up the team, uh, the web team at uh, Colette. So the web team's based out in Boston, um, and we have a team of about eight or nine developers, a couple project managers, and we manage really four sites, all all done through Sitecore. So, it's very two two very different skill sets to be a developer and a, a manager. What was it like trying to make the transition? It's just the natural course I think you know some developers are going to take. Um, it's a progression plan and it's very similar as, to, as you grow as a manager, as you grow as a developer. So you're constantly learning and that never changes. So as a young developer I remember starting out at my internship really not knowing anything and learning new pieces and that puzzle came along and um, I took a job over at Valir and I went from knowing a lot of things over at Shamit to learn to knowing nothing at Valir so you kind of fall back down the ladder <laughs> humbled humbled yeah. and um, I ended up moving over to Colette where I was a senior developer over there we had a great opportunity to build a website from scratch using all the latest technologies um, we launched that and we grew the team, and it just naturally I became the manager of web development here. And it's very similar because you, you know, now you're a new manager. You're at the bottom of the totem pole. You really don't know much about managing. So again, as I was a developer, I had to teach myself and learn from others. And so that'll be the next uh, my next question, which is. You know, what is it that you, you find your passion in? What, do you, what keeps you going? Kind of drives your interest. Even back in my days um, at, at Valir, I loved helping the team, whether it's doing lunch and learns or creating modules for the, envir for the Psycho community, um, learning different things and helping my project team grow and learn, whether I was learning from them or they were learning from me, it just bettered the team. It's the same thing here at Colette. I, I touch base with the developers once or twice a day, just ask how they're doing, see if I can help them out in any way. The whole team here is based around learning. So we do lunch and learns, we do code reviews, we use Pluralsight. Trust falls. Trust falls, yeah. Um, and it's a real uh, work hard, play hard environment. So we, we work ourselves a lot. It's a very challenging environment. Um, but we have fun doing it, and uh, we do things like go out to the park and 
throw the frisbee around or go out and get some ice cream. And um, a few not, a few weeks ago, we had movie night where we invited a bunch of friends over here. Some of them were developers, some were in finance, and watching Sixteen Candles. It's actually Deadpool, but <laughs> 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 yep, it was pretty close. All right. So that's all I've got for you. Um, but this is your opportunity to give your exception message, if you have one for the community. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so my exception message goes back to the team. It goes back to always giving your best, challenging you, and challenging other members of the team to, to keep learning and doing that the best you can. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Mark. So that was Catching Exceptions, and you just met Tim Braga, Manager of Web Development at Colette. Next time you see me, we're going to be getting to know somebody else. Till then, hang loose. <laughs>